comes on the heels of a protracted campaign by the Uganda Law Society calling for the appointment of a substantive Chief Justice. President Yoweri Museven rejected Supreme Court Justice Bart Katurebe, who had been recommended by the Judicial Service Commission and opted to reappoint Justice Odoki. Museven, in a letter dated August 9, 2013, to the Speaker Rebecca Kadaga, handed Benjamin Odoki a two years contract as Chief Justice. But this attempt by the President to reappoint Justice Odoki as Chief Justice faced Steve Frack from the legal fraternity. The President wanted to reappoint him even after attaining the age of 70, and we said no. Let's proceed to the Constitutional Court. Odoki now serves on the Supreme Court. Appearing before the League and the Parliamentary Affairs Committee this morning, the chairperson of the Judicial Service Commission, the retired Justice James Ogola, say the current vacuum in the judiciary is an affront on constitutional rule. This is totally untenable. It's untenable because the state cannot, by any stretch of the imagination, be expected to function without a head. Ogola also said Justice Stephen Kavuma's appointment as acting Chief Justice is legally flawed. There is acting somebody whose basis for that is also being questioned. Kavuma, who sits on the Court of Appeal, is also acting Deputy Chief Justice. When the Chief Justice is absent, temporarily, is a matter that's taken care of in the Constitution. It should be the Deputy Chief Justice. We do not find any other possibility of uh, an acting, on a temporary basis, an acting uh, Chief Justice. The former principal judge was accompanied by a team of commissioners, said efforts to resolve this constitutional crisis with the president has not yielded the results. We are disabled. The judiciary is disabled. It is working not on its feet, but on what are those things, the um, crutches. That's not a position we want to be in if we can avoid it. And there's no reason not to avoid it. Ogola implored all the three arms of government to agitate for these appointments. And that really the best way out of that quagmire is for the country to very quickly have a deputy chief justice substantively appointed. During the committee proceedings, MPs rushed out at the president for failing to fulfill a constitutional obligation. We are operating in a state of breach of the constitution. Because I don't know where, how Kavoma is operating. My Lord, is it possible that maybe this is an indictment of the entire legal fraternity in this country? That there is no lawyer worth, according to President Yoel Museven. They said they would meet the president to resolve this deadlock. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.